So our question tells us we have the following coordinate system where I hat is in the east direction, J hat is in the north direction, and K hat is in the upward direction. So we're thinking of east, west, north, south as in one plane and K hat is in the other plane. So I kind of drew this three dimensional object out here. And then it's going to ask us to find the dot product and the cross product between these different things. So this little wheel that I drew out over here that I'm pointing to, uh, let's do it with a red arrow. This thing, we're gonna use this as just a nice little visual tool for cross products. So what this shows is that I hat cross J hat, so moving in this direction on the wheel gives you K hat. But if you move this direction, this is positive. So moving clockwise is positive, okay? And then moving counterclockwise is gonna be negative. So J hat cross I hat is minus K hat. See how that would work? So then if you do K, cross I, since you're moving positive, it'll be J hat. If you do K cross J, it would be minus I hat, since you're going the opposite direction. What this also tells you is if you do the cross product of something with itself, well, um, well, we'll, we'll just get to that. That's going to be zero because you can't do that. Okay. So here we go. Let's go ahead and begin our, uh, begin with part A. Part A wants us to find the dot product between I hat dot K hat. Well, since these are perpendicular, the dot product is going to be zero. Okay, we can box that in as a solution for A. And the reason is because they're perpendicular to one another. So the dot product of two, of two uh, vectors that are perpendicular to one another is zero. Okay, so then now let's do the dot product of minus k hat dot minus j hat. Okay, well, since k and j, you can just pull that negative sign out front, the two negatives will cancel. Since k and j are also perpendicular to one another, this is also zero. You can box it in as our solution to b. Okay. Part C wants us to find the dot product of J hat with minus J hat. Well, the dot product of anything with itself is just equal to one. So you can pull that negative sign out front. So J hat dot J hat times the negative sign is gonna be negative one. You can box that in as our solution to C. Part D, now we're gonna get into the uh, cross product. So that wheel we just discussed on page uh, one here is gonna come into play. So it wants us to take the cross, cro uh, cross product of K hat cross J hat. Okay, well, if we go back to this first page, K cross J is moving against counterclockwise, so it's gonna be negative and it's gonna be a negative I hat. So this is negative I hat, or also, you could also say west. Since we said I hat is in the east direction, then the negative I hat is in the west direction, okay? Part E wants us to find the cross product of minus I hat cross minus J hat. Well, you can pull the two minus signs out front, so they're gonna cancel. So really what you have is uh, I hat cross J hat, which is gonna be equal to K hat. So this is up. We can box that in as our solution for part E. And then part F, it's minus K hat cross minus j hat. Again, the two minus signs cancel and uh, k hat cross j hat is the same as what we had for part D. So it's minus i hat once again, which is west. We can box that in as our solution for part F.